Art Olber Red here with the sensational Lucy Kings Wheatley. It's a double barrel name today. I've just done Tori Ellis Willits, now I'm doing Lucy Kings Wheatley. Welcome back, two time champion. Uh, two times national champion now. Obviously, hopefully, maybe one more next year. We'll see, we'll see how things But yeah. The last time I spoke to you, Lucy, you was in the process. It was application. It was audition for you to go up to GB. You, you know, you was like, mm, I might get it. I might not. I should get it. Talk to us what happened since we last spoke. Yeah. So obviously, last time I was going through the assessment period through GB, and then uh, obviously now I got on. Um, I just fought recently, and uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it so far. It's just all experience, so good. But, yeah. Talk to us about that experience, about obviously leaving home, going up there to train, and still obviously having a part-time job and coming in to do your training in here as well. Talk to us a little bit about that lifestyle. Um, obviously, it's different. You got to travel up and down to Sheffield, but like I got the best sparring up there. Do you know what I mean? Like all like elite girls, elite guys as well, obviously. Like the best coaches in the country, all down at GB in Sheffield. And obviously, when I'm back down here for the week, you know, back at home, down at our gym, you know, it's a massive gym. And then, as well as that, I'm still working part time, but it just keeps me busy a bit. Do you know what I mean? Like, just keeps me occupied and a little bit extra money. It's always nice. Somebody that's not afraid to multitask, how have you found like your amateur experience, obviously, coming from ACOT's Green Boxing Gym? Uh, and then move into like Team GB. You said obviously the, there's good sparring up there and the, the coaches. Talk to us a little bit about that in detail. Well, I mean, when I first started, it was it was different. It was more so getting used to like multiple different coaches. But uh, then I, I kind of realised that I was just taking little bits from each coach, you know, to add into my own style. And now it, it, it just all fits in perfectly. And I feel like I'm just progressing, progressing. And hopefully, you know, that's going to go on to more titles, big titles, and then take it over to the program at some point. But yeah. The championships that you've been in, the tournaments that you've been in so far, let our viewers know what you've done so far and what your achievements are, just in case they haven't been following your journey, which I'm sure after this they need to start following you. So uh, when I, I first came into boxing, I went straight into the uh, National Elite Championships. They were in Manchester in 2022. And... Uh, I fought a great girl down there, Viv Parsons. Um, obviously, you know of her. And m most people in boxing know of her. You know, a wicked boxer. And, uh, you know, I come I come away with the win against her. And um, then I went on to the Tri-Nations, which is obviously England, Scotland, Wales. Again, I come away with a win. You know, it's a hard work. It did pay off. And then we went again for two times after we'd got on GB. And, uh, again, we got the win one more time. And then as soon as that was over, I was back out from my first tournament with GB in Spain. Uh, I had three good fights down there, like massive experience. It was wicked and uh, three wins, two stoppages. You know, I couldn't have asked for any more. But now it's just carrying that on, keeping that going. The development that you have then, Lucy, like from where you started and like the experience that you're getting, how well does that like experience, those fights bring you on as a fighter? Because they say, you know, an active fighter is a good fighter. I mean, uh, like, I think when I went over to Spain, especially, like, the, the, each country has, like, a different style, which I think is going to help bring me on a lot. Obviously, when you're fighting in England, everyone's got, like, that, that similar English kind of British boxing style, whereas when you travel over to the other countries, they've all got these unique, different styles, and that's what I think, that's what makes the fighters, you know, because you're getting used to all those different... Um, that variety of different styles yeah that's interesting to know actually so you know when you go out and you fight do you you said you obviously there's different variety of styles does some of them do you start to adapt to some of them does some of their like skill set come to you as well what do you take away from those fights is what I'm getting at yeah well I mean I've only, I've only done the one international now so far but you could just tell as soon as you got in the ring that the style was that a little bit different to the uh you know the British style and don't get me wrong I think Britain have like probably the best, you know, the most basic, good style, but um, it's those little little differences that help bring you on and um, help you adapt to get that a little bit further. You know, help in some ways you kind of take some stuff away from those opponents and then put it into your own style. It's all mashing everything up to make you know the perfect style. I really like that now because it's interesting to hear because I, 
you, I usually think like there's maybe a European style, not a British style, an American style. So to hear you say now you're going to Europe and they've got a different style. Talk to us about their style. What is it that differentiates them from like the British? Like, I think you're trying to say that upright on your toes or is that kind of still European? Yeah. I mean, again, like, you know, I've only been out of them once, but yeah. I'm, all, I'm always watching like those other styles from like, you know, um, the Brazilians and uh, Ukraine, all the countries, but they're, they're all different. Like some a bit more stockier, you know, they come forward. Some of them a lot more on their toes, you know, that British style, we're always going to have probably the best basic style there you know that's what that's what separates us from other countries but you know like some of the other countries like it's almost like they're dancing in the ring some of them you know it's like pure fighting and just it's just going to bring levels levels you know. and your style compared to that then you're active you're bouncy you're able to stop your opponents um i think with me my styles you know it's i've taken stuff from kickboxing into the boxing scene and uh I think that shocked like a few people, in a sense, because I don't have you know just the that, that basic British style, and uh, I think me bringing in the kickboxing style and then uh, learning stuff from the boxing has made that that little bit uniqueness about me. I'm not in any copy way or anything, but I think that's what's brought me up to this level. And then the progression through that. What is next? I know that you were off ill, so unfortunately you weren't able to partake in one of the tournaments. But what is next for yourself, Lucy? Um, I'm not too sure, too sure yet at the minute. I think obviously we're going to have more tournaments out in GB hopefully over the next few months, a few training camps, just get more experience in and uh, just keep getting in little tournaments and hopefully that's going to build me up for those big, bigger tournaments, you know, like Commonwealth Games, European Games, Olympic Games one day, you know, I don't know what's going to happen So, And that was going to be my next question. Do you know what's actually happening with the, the amateur game? With the GB, what what is going to happen next? But you've kind of like answered it there, and it's I don't know. <laughs> um, I mean, I don't know myself. I know obviously these twenty twenty four games are going on. You know, there's already been a select team for the Europeans. Um, I don't know about the the next Olympic games after that. We'll see if they're even happening or not. If they are, obviously, you know, that's that's the goal. That's the main goal. But you never know. You just see what happens, and you know, aim high. Keep aiming high. Any advice to anybody that wants to get involved as a young fighter, it doesn't matter whether they're male or female, any advice to give to a young fighter that's coming through, that's watching this and thinks, you know what, I want to give it a go. Maybe they're from Birmingham, maybe they're local. What would you say to them? I mean, I think that the hardest part is always always the beginning because it's you know, you don't know what's gonna happen. But I think if you just jump into boxing or jump into any form of combat sports that's where it begins and uh, you find out whether you love it or you don't like it there. But either way, even if you're just doing it for fitness, you know, it's something that keeps you disciplined, you know, it's, it's a game changer. We look forward to seeing more from yourself then, Lucy. Thank you so much for your time. I'm going to let you uh, get on with your training. And sorry you can't come to Manchester with us on Monday. Uh, thanks for uh, having me again, as usual. Great. Anytime. Hi, and thank you for watching October Red Boxing. Like, subscribe and tap the bell for notifications. You can also find us on Instagram at October Red Boxing and on Twitter, October Red UK. And remember, at October Red, we stay ready.